Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. The wine today. Um, it's the Spear Collection. Is it the collection? Uh, Spear, or just Spear? Just Spear Winery. Uh, Creative Block 2009. Uh, it's, it's a bottle I've had uh, hanging around for, for a bit, but I'm, uh, I'm taking it around to a friend's house tonight with another uh, bottle, which you may see in a subsequent video, 100% uh, Shiraz. Uh, from from Chile, but um, I, I thought it'd be nice to compare the two. This isn't pure Shiraz; it's got it's got uh, Mourvedre and some Viognier in there. So uh, there are three. Uh, so Spear Collection Creative Block Three. They do. I'm not sure. I can't remember how many different uh, wines they do under the Creative Block label, but uh, this is number three. Um, the artwork of a winemaker who has created an inspired blend. Blah blah blah. And um, I'm not sure uh, whether all the wines are from, all, all the, the, blend, the bits are from the same region. It just says on coastal region. So let's give it a whirl. Rich, rounded and spicy. And it's uh, betraying its South African uh, origins in this ever so slightly um, spicy, sandy, uh, so, uh, cooked tomato character that I, that I get in, in quite a lot of the wines. Um, and it's, it's, it's a slight welcome, old-fashioned warmth about them. It's not gone into the, um, um, the burnt rubber or anything like that. And it's not gone into that baked character that you get in some of the wines. But uh, uh, I remember trying an old uh, Pinotage from KWV and it had that, very much that same character. Um, so I don't know whether it's a winemaking thing or a terroir thing, but um, uh, in, uh, as it's looking here, it, it, it looks pretty smart. It feels like the fruit around it is warm, rich, fleshy and polished. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it feels, I think it's going to be quite a satisfying drink. Quite a bold, fleshy, yeah, rich wine. It's got the herbs, the spices, uh, vanilla, plums, a bit of blackberry, a bit of slightly more exotic loganberry, mulberry type of character. And, um, and, and there's this warmth coming through on the finish, but there's, it's not over the top jammy. Uh, there's a bit of tan in there to, uh, to, to hold it all together, to stop it going all oh, that bit wobbly. Um, I would be very interested to see what happens with this as it ages. It's 14.5% alcohol, um, uh, but it still feels like there is a little bit of freshness in there and it's got this tan in, um, but it is looking quite smart now. So it's not, I don't think it needs extra age, but I would be very interested to see what another five years done, does to that. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of those that splits people. Some people will love it now and some people will think, oh yeah, it's benefited from the extra age. But um, I, hey, if I had two bottles, I'd be able to work out, but uh, I've just got this one. Pretty yummy it is too. See you soon.